Hi, this is Suzanne Stryker. I just saw a strange creature casually walking straight down our sidewalk to the front of the house. Like it owned the place, like our cat does, but it wasn't our cat. And he started to walk up the stairs to the front porch. Look, there he is. I wonder if he was going to continue walking up the stairs. He, he stopped as soon as I came outside. There isn't any cat food out, but beavers are vegetarian anyway. They don't even eat fish, so he wasn't coming for that. The strange thing is, this morning, I had the sense that someone special was going to come visit and I should prepare. I felt compelled to start creating a new path around the house. Now, who knows, maybe it was unconsciously symbolic of a new path I would soon take in life. Beavers are primarily nocturnal, semi-aquatic creatures. So to see one in broad daylight, there's no large body of water nearby. And for this beaver to be walking up to the stairs to the front porch, and for that just to happen when I was coming out, I mean, that, that was amazing timing. It was like he came to deliver a message to me. The uncanny thing is that I had asked nature for a message just this morning. Mr. Beaver, I'd like to offer you something to eat, but there's just not much left in the garden to munch on. Next time you'll have to come when the garden is full of flowers and lush foliage. I like to grow extra in the garden for critters and for friends. You know, in many traditional cultures, when an animal acts unusual, that's a sign. You should study the characteristics of the animal and learn from it. Well, what are the characteristics of a beaver? They're the hardest working animal. In fact, the English verb to beaver means to work hard and constantly. And I had just this morning asked nature for this sign. Should I do an interview in the fall of 2018 that would make me even busier and work harder? So here you come and there you are feeling comfortable enough to munch on some of my flowers. After the beaver came, three things happened. And by the way, the number three reoccurs in my life as a, a lucky number. That evening, we were blessed with rain all night long, which we sorely needed because of the drought we had had. And we had a total of three and a half inches of rain, which is more than we had had all summer. I wondered three days later what direction the beaver went. An image popped in my mind of an area to the west. I also wondered if he had a family because beavers are family oriented and they mate for life. So these clouds appeared in the sky that night, which looked like the profile of three beavers. They're all pointing to the west, uh, like a mother and father beaver with their juvenile beaver in the shape of clouds, all in the direction I had envisioned. Also three days uh, later, I had the desire to share my story with a Native American about this visit with the beaver. Around 3 p.m., I walk out of a store towards my car. A lady asked me for help with her car. That caused me to uh, be delayed, and that was wonderful because just then a man with a feather in his hat walked by. As destiny would have it, his truck was parked right next to mine, and I felt this deep urge to speak with him. I asked him, are you a Native American? And he said, yes, I am of the Cherokee and Inuit tribes. Turns out he's an active member in teaching and protecting their Native culture. We had a delightful talk about beavers and power animals. Power animals are considered a helping and protecting spirit that add to your power and are helpful for success in any venture. The spirit lends you the wisdom of its kind. So the beaver spirit will give you beaver wisdom and then some of the attributes of the beaver. Some of those attributes we talked about of being industrious, working hard, 
So may the beaver spirit be alive in you. May you accomplish what you desire and may it help others in all the best ways.